57-year-old Melody Gooch's body was buried under a pile of pallets behind this I-90 truck stop. A trucker noticed her hand and foot late Monday night and called 911. <laughs> Nice with this, this. No way that I'm going outside. My pockets been having your shit. What's poppin' M2T? It's your boy Run on the channel to be. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, share, and subscribe button whenever you roll up to the channel. And while you at it, hit that post notification button for your boy so whenever I drop, you can hop up in a truck and roll with me. See what's poppin'. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody had a blast over the weekend. Hey, happy be lady St. Patrick's Day to my fellas out there, to everybody out there, man. Hey, I already know y'all got y'all drinking, drink on, whatever, whatever, did your bill one, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Hey, we got some things to cover today, and it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good week. My prayers are with y'all. Y'all already know that. All right, them two T. Let's get it. Before we get started, we'll be right back after this message. What's up, M2T fam? Merch is available now. We have styles for the men and the ladies. Visit our catalog and check out our inventory. What you waiting for? Go to MarriedToTrucking.store. On March 11, 2024, Mitchell Police Department got a 911 call that a woman's body was under a pile of pallets at a truck stop off of Interstate 90. Check this out. 57-year-old Melody Gooch's body was buried under a pile of pallets behind this I-90 truck stop. A trucker noticed her hand and foot late Monday night and called 911. They found a partially dismembered female. Uh, through additional efforts, that determination was that it is 57-year-old Melanie Gooch from Detroit, Michigan. Court documents say her body appeared to have been tangled in an axle of a semi or ran over multiple times. Some body parts were missing, including her skull and part of her spine. Investigators found them in a dumpster. Once authorities identified the victim as 57-year-old Melody Gooch, they learned that she had been traveling with a man named Anthony Melvin Harris. We were able to, through additional work and good police work and looking at videos, further uh, efforts, including working with uh, officials from other states, uh, make a determination and arrive to a point where we were able to today get search warrants, arrest warrants, and ultimately put uh, suspect Anthony Harris in custody. Video from multiple cameras near the trunk stop showed a white semi pulling a white trailer, which is what Harris was driving. Court documents say early Monday morning, that truck can be seen pulling forward and backing up into the same spot approximately five times. The truck is then seen pulling up to a dumpster. The semi does not stop for gas or make any other stops before getting back onto the interstate. Harris is charged with second degree murder. As for the victim, they're not saying how she died. They say they're going to wait for an autopsy report. While Mitchell Police and the DCI are handling the investigation, they want to thank others as well. This investigation was a multi-agency effort and without that multi-agency cooperation we wouldn't be where we are today. And according to court documents, when family members ask about Gooch, Harris told them that she went into a store for food and never came back out. Tonight, he's being held on a quarter million dollars cash only bond. First and foremost, we want to send our condolences to the Gooch family. Our prayers and our thoughts are with you guys. We want you guys to know that we are praying for you. We can only imagine that you guys are going through a whole lot right now. And just stay prayerful and know that everything is going to work itself out. Melody Gooch, a 57-year-old native of Detroit, Michigan, was a mother. She was a daughter. She was very loved by her family. And I can only imagine how much she was doing for and with her family while she was here with them. Melody was full of life. She was very active on Facebook, very social, just an all-around loving woman. 
And for her to have to be treated the way that she was treated, you guys, a, a dog don't even deserve that, man. You know, you, you don't even wish things like this on your worst enemy, you know. Mitchell, South Dakota Police Department has posted publicly the affidavit warrant that was issued by the detectives that is investigating Melody's case. We want to show you guys this affidavit so that you all can have a very in-depth and close look at how things played out when it comes to Melody's case and everything that happened. All right, let's check this out first, you guys. Boom, y'all see that? All right. Let's go over this affidavit with a fine two column. State of South Dakota versus Harris Senior Anthony Melvin. Casey Tagatov being first duly sworn on oath, deposed and state that I am a detective with the Mitchell Police Department. I am conducting the investigation of the above style matter that I make. This affidavit in support of the state's attorney's request for a warrant for the arrest of the above named defendant and in compliance with SDCL 23A-2-2 and states as follows. On March 11, 2024 at approximately 2254, that's military time you guys, that 2254 is 1054. At 2254, the police department received a 911 call of a deceased person under a pile of pallets located in the I-90 Travel Center parking lot located at Burr Street. The reporting party stated he just pulled into the parking lot to park for the night. Stated he went to far west end of the parking lot and seen a pile of pallets just on the edge of the lot. He did not want to run the pallets over so he started to back into the open space next to the pallets. He backed up a ways into the spot, then got out to look to see how far away from the pallets he was. He stated he exited his truck to see how much further he needed to back up and how far away he was from the pallet, from the pile of pallets. He walked around the passenger side of his truck and trailer and noticed what appeared to be a gut pal lying in the middle of the parking lot. He assumed it was from an animal and thought it to be strange. As he got closer to the pallets, he noticed a human, a human foot underneath the pallets and then a human hand. He then realized there was a deceased female underneath the pallets. He called 911 at this time. So the trucker that discovered Melody, once seeing her, you guys, he knew instantly that it was a female. Okay, let's let's get back to this. Detective Pete Arnold of the Mitchell Police Department was called to the scene to investigate. Detective Arnold noted that it appeared the deceased person was struck by a vehicle in a parking lot where the human entrails were located. Around the human entrails was blood spatter consistent with a person being struck by a vehicle and then dragged away from the initial impact point. The descendant was approximately 11 to 13 feet away from where it appeared to be the initial impact of the vehicle. The, the victim appeared to be an African, African American female wearing a yellow, yellow shirt, black underwear, and blue jeans. The victim's blue jeans were removed from her body and discarded near the body. The victim's socks were near the initial point of impact and there were no shoes located near the victim. The victim had no identification, no cell phone, and no other personal belongings near her, near her body. The victim's body appeared as if it had been tangled in the axle of a semi or ran over multiple times due to the twisting and distortion of the body. The Davidson County coroner came and collected the victim's body and transported her to the Minnehaha County coroner for an autopsy. On March 12, 
Detective Arnold attended the autopsy of the victim. The victim was identified through running her fingerprints through the AFIS system. The victim was identified as Melody Faye Coach. Detective Arnold advised that the, for, that the forensic pathologist stated Gucci's entire skull was missing from her body. Gucci's skin was still attached to her body, allowing the, patho the pathologist to reconstruct her body and show that her skull and a portion of her spinal cord was missing. Detective Arnold stated Gooch had dentures as the lower part of, the of her jaw was still attached to the body. The forensic pathologist also determined the time of death to be within 24 to 36 hours. That was a lot of information, you guys. We still have a little more to cover. Division of Criminal Investigation Special Agent Brian Larson, Lieutenant Dean Nippling of the Mitchell Police Department, and I went to the death scene to search for more clues to the, day, to the daylight and cameras for video surveillance footage. Detective Dan Fetchner of Mitchell Police Department began reviewing video surveillance footage from a City of Mitchell camera that was located on the top of the city water tower. Coach's body was recovered approximately 30 yards from the base of the water tower. The city camera faces the area of where Coach's body was recovered, but it's not visible on camera due to the water tower blocking the view. And the area of where Coach's Gulch was initially struck by a vehicle by the vehicle was located parts of her dentures and the, and the gravel of the parking lot. This this it hits a little different M two T, so y'all got to y'all you know let's 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 get through this let's get through this. I began to canvas the area for evidence items and located a dumpster on the property approximately two hundred yards to the east from where the body was recovered. The dumpster the dumpster is still on the property of the truck stop and is located near the entrance and exit point of the property. I looked in a dumpster and noticed a white garbage sack with a woman's sneaker in it and a large mass of what appeared to be a bloody object similar to a person's head. I removed the garbage sack from the dumpster and opened the sack. Inside the sack was a size 10 woman's right foot sneaker. The sneaker was white, yellow, and orange and covered in blood. Also in the sack was a skinned, severe human head. The skull appeared to be completely intact with a portion of the spine still attached. The rest of the dumpster contents were gone through at the Mitchell Police Department and the other matching left sneaker was located in the dumpster. There were no other personal belongings located in the dumpster that would appear to belong to Gooch. Detective Fitchner was able to Detective Fitchner was able to watch video surveillance from the city water tower and located a white semi pulling a white enclosed trailer exit in the state 90 westbound at approximately 525 on 311 and entered the interstate 90 travel center parking lot detective freshman could see the headlights of the semi making suspicious movements in the lot but the view was still blocked by the water tower the truck was in the lot for only approximately 30 to 35 minutes as it is seen leaving the lot at approximately 606 and heading westbound on Interstate 90. Detective Fessner noticed this same semi stopping at the dumpster where I located the skin severed human skull and sneakers for a period of time before exiting the lot. Okay, you guys, and this is where it's starting to come in as far as you know them 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 getting narrowing things down with this 18 wheeler with this scumbag they are narrowing it down with him all right more video surveillance was recovered from surrounding businesses that showed the area where gucci's body was located and this same and this same semi from the city water water tower camera angle is seen pulling to the same spot where gucci's body was recovered all approximately five at approximately 527 this white semi can be seen pulling into the spot where gucci's body was recovered facing westward westbound the, the semi parked around the semi parked facing westbound for approximately five to nine minutes before backing out of the spot 
turning around and then backing back into the same sp parking spot. The semi pulls forward and and backs up into the same spot approximately five times. Each time, the semi appears to be trying to precisely park in a spot, even though there are no other trucks or trailers directly beside it. During these five backup attempts, the trailer the trailer backs further into the spot until the sixth attempt. The semi only backs about halfway into the parking spot. The driver is seen exiting the semi and exiting the semi and going to the back of the semi and trailer. The camera angle is too far away to to find any descriptions of the driver or the semi at one point in the video when the driver is near the rear of the trailer it appears he picks something up with a bag this camera angle is from ang diesel located in the same parking lot as as the i-90 travel center this camera angle that captures the semi's movement is rotating camera that only shows that area for approximately 15 seconds before moving around to a different area there is approximately one minute and 30 seconds between views of the area of the parking lot at approximately 605 on the video surveillance footage from ang diesel the semi is seen pulling up to the dumpster the driver exits and goes around to the passenger side of the cab the driver's side door remains open during the time and it appears the passenger side door is open and shut the driver then enters the driver's seat and exits the parking lot the semi does not stop for gas or make any other stops before before getting back onto the interstate on march 13th the skin severed head was sent to the forensic pathologist for examination. Based on the pre preliminary results of the autopsies of Goose body and skin severed head, the forensic pathologist did not find any evidence to suggest Goose died from any other trauma other than being hit, struck, or run over by a vehicle. Next of kin for Gooch was contacted in the Detroit, Michigan area in the afternoon and evening of March 13th. They identified Anthony Melvin Harris Sr. as the person she was last known with. Harris Sr. is an over is an over the road truck driver. Harris Sr. told Gooch's family members that Gooch went into a store for food and never came back out. Gooch also told family members that he found her cell phone in the door pocket of his cab of his cab in the phone was broken harris senior claimed to not know where she was division of criminal investigation agents has been in contact with harris senior's trucking company transfinity logistics inc and have been providing harris senior's daily logbook to law enforcement according to these electronic records harris senior truck over overnighted approximately 22 miles east northeast of mitchell beginning at approximately 1850 on 310 the log shows he is off duty beginning at 1850 and shut down at 1905 at this same location the log book then shows he is on duty at 451 and driving at 504. They then have him going off duty at approximately 629. At approximately 629, approximately one mile southeast of Mitchell and then back driving at approximately 602 at the same location. Based on where the cell phone tower is in Mitchell, that will put Harry Senior semi and trailer near the Holiday Travel Center parking lot. This time frame of him off duty and back driving matches the video surveillance of the suspect vehicle pulling into the Holiday Travel Center parking lot and exiting the Holiday Travel Center parking lot. The logs continue to show Harris Senior route as westbound through South Dakota. Harris Senior was contacted by Washington State Troopers in in Yakima, Washington on 314 at approximately 1230 Central Time in the same semi and trailer we have on video surveillance footage. This 
is the arrest warrant affidavit that the um, investigating detectives gave to the district's attorneys to get the warrant for his for to arrest this idiot. I don't, I don't even want to Harris Senior. Don't even want to address him by his name because it, 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 to, it, to me he ain't even got no name now. He's just a freaking idiot. Um, let me say this, M two T. Everything I say from this point is allegedly, okay, allegedly. All right. In my opinion, I believe the sucker did it. I believe this is the guy that is fully responsible for Melody's murder. And you guys seen the affidavit? These detectives did a fan, and they not finished, did a fantastic job at going from A to Z, backtracking all the way into from the time that they received, from the time they received that call from the time that that man showed up at that parking, at that truck stop, all the way until when they found him in Washington. Now, the incident happened in South Dakota. This is where they found our sister. This is where they found Melody. They got him away from Washington on the 14th. Incident happened on the 11th. He been gone three days. Man, we gotta talk about this, M2T. This one, this one, this one here hit. It hit, it hits, it hit. A little different for me, man. You know, this was a mother that was this sister was love, just like a lot of the women is out here in America. Trunka Harris was somebody that, in my opinion, was well acquainted with Melody, and I say that in my opinion because, as it stated in the affidavit and everything, the family is who gave the detectives. Harris senior number. They the one that told them detectives that Melody was last seen with him. The family gave the detectives a whole lot of information. For them to have that much information on Harris, he had to be well acquainted with Melody's family. Um, Melody family also told him that you know, this is who she was with. You know, so, you know, I'm trying to just figure it out, M2T. Did Melody let her family just know who she was with? You know, or was he really acquainted with the family? In my opinion, this guy was really acquainted with the family. You know, um, you know, um, you know, before all of this stuff even took place, you know, Melody was a, a, a big face, a Facebooker. Yeah, I call him a Facebooker. You know, I don't know what they call. You know, she she had a a very high presence on Facebook. You know, very social. You know, you know, friendly. You know, friendly. You know, human type person. You know, she she liked to socialize. I've done a lot of research when it comes to this case with Melody and uh, Trucker Harris, and have uncovered. A lot of information. Now, some of the information I cannot indulge. I can't indulge to you guys because it haven't been made public. But some of it I can. Um, let's let's talk about Trucker Harris before we get into anything. Um, I've done enough research to know that uh, me and my team we're about ninety nine point nine 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 percent sure of who this guy is. His picture haven't been released publicly, so we're not going to do that until, you know, until it's released. But we are, we have a pretty good idea of who this scumbag is, you know. And, and I'm telling y'all, I will, y'all know how I am. I will, point his, I will point him out real quick. He's an idiot, but I can't do that right now, you know, until, until further measures. But we, we have, we, we have a pretty good idea. You know, solidified identity on on who this guy is. Um, him being involved with Melody's family, we have a pretty good idea of his involvement with their family. So let's get this understood. This is not no no lot lizard case. M two T. This guy was involved with Melody. 
know the family, you know, they know him, which y'all already know that because the detectives went to him, they gave him so much information, you know. But we have, you know, a little bit more in depth to confirm that this is this guy was he knew them. Um Melody trusted this dude. You know, she 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 was she was with this dude, she trusted this dude, and at some point of time while they was out on the road, you know, for a situation this this bad, you know, you know, you know. You know To come about on her like that Something had to take place And a lot of times you guys In my opinion 9 times out of 10 It all starts From an argument Words Confrontation You know Now I don't have any evidence Not even the detectives even know Where all of this stuff initially started You know they got the 911 call Where they found Melody and they took it from there but they're still investigating so there's definitely going to be updates on this story you know but right now we're just going on where it is where we're at you know and this is where we at with the situation um he said that she went off into the truck stop and got food you know and she didn't come back out is that is i mean I mean, scenarios like that is possible. You know what I mean? It's all different kind of stuff out here dealing with truckers. You know what I mean? You know, you got this, you got this woman with you, you got this girl with you, you know, all men with you. Y'all going back and forth, you frustrated man. Hey, get on up out of here, man. You know, I'm gone, you know. Catch a bus or catch a plane or do something like that. Is is the situ the scenario he try he tried to paint possible? Yeah. You know what I mean? That is a possible situation. But that ain't this. And this ain't that. As we know, they got him on video, you know, in the same area where Melody was found. Same truck stop in the same area where they found. Him. So, you know, they know that they got the right dude. You know what I mean? So, and he trying to say, you know, um, but he don't know where she went, you know, and all of this and all of that. Ran her over five times, you guys. Five times. You know, we don't even do dirt like that. You don't even do wildlife like that. You know, he was really trying to cover his tracks, you know. And this my thing, in my opinion, he's trying to cover what he initially did to Melody. You know, you know, by 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 handling her the way that he handled her with that 18 axle. And y'all seen it, they said that it seemed like her body was twisted. You know what I mean? It was twisted, which gave them the indication of that she got twisted up under the axle. You know what I mean? Head severed and stuff, spine and stuff severed. This, this is this is very traumatic. You know, he was really trying to hide what it was that was initially done. You know, um, man, I just women, y'all, y'all got to be more mindful. Of who it is that y'all dealing with Men's, even men's um, We got to be more mindful of who we dealing with You know what I mean um, You know, some 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 companies have strict policies When it comes to truckers allowing people to come with them You know, because they are aware that things can take place You know, and, and, and they don't have no control of that but what they do have control of is if you can allow somebody in the truck with you or not, you know, and, you know, situations like this, the reason why, you know, companies is like that. Domestic violence. This is a this this is a this is a messed up situation, you guys. This is a very messed up situation. Um, I mean, I can only I can only, you know, in my opinion, this this probably wasn't even uh melody's first time traveling with this idiot you know they probably had traveled a few times you know what i mean you know because from me and my team's research off into the situation you know it, it just it seems like he was very acquainted with this family you know what i mean she didn't deserve that m2t she didn't deserve that at all 
you know, and um, him being Wade in Washington. Come on, man. This dude, this dude looks like an idiot. I can't. I, I'm, I'm waiting on a day to put him right here, so we can roast him. You know, he ain't gonna do no man like that. You know, that's that's what that's the thing with cowards. You know, they will handle a woman any kind. Of, they will handle a woman, man. But when it come to a man. You know, he go tuck his tail and, and get gone like he better do because he already know that it's it's life or death when it comes to testosterone, when it comes to a man. But a, a, a flower, which is what I call a woman, oh, uh, you know, he just go, he go just, you know, men, you know, men gets, you know, just a handle. I'm, and I ain't talking about all men because there's good brothers out here, M2T. There's men out here that's kings, that value their queens, that know how to treat women. You know, and wouldn't even think about putting their hands on one. Wouldn't even think about, you know, you know, if it's if it's that serious, I'm gone. You know, but you got cowards like this, you know. But when he get to where he's going, he's going to get exactly what he's looking for. You no, know, she had children that loved a man, you know, you know, it's, it's you know, you know, probably even grandkids, man, it's it's. It's, this is this is a messed up situation that sister did not deserve that um the women know who it is that y'all are, are are getting involved with you know I, I can't stress that enough you know domestic violence is real um you know and even fellas you know know who it is that y'all getting involved with um and we're going to be keeping you guys updated on this as it progresses. Um, I mean, shout out to them detectives. Them detectives is doing a, a fantastic job. As y'all heard him say, it was different agencies that made this come about and made this happen for them. Shout out to all of them, you know. To the Gucci's family, we just want you guys to know again that our condolences are with you guys. And we are praying for you guys. Um, shout out. To the subscribe shout out to you guys we appreciate you guys uh merch is on merch is on deck go get your merch you already know where to go you know what i'm saying marriage to truck and dot stoke you know what i'm saying <laughs> go up in there and get your merch man uh, uh shout out to miss miss boozy miss boozy you know what i'm saying you looked out you know what i'm saying you got some super chats in there to the to the channel you know what i'm saying support Miss Bougie, we love you. We appreciate you for being generous and just thinking about us. You know what I mean? We appreciate that, Miss Bougie. Shout out, Miss Bougie, for them super chats, man. That's what's up. Uh, M2T, we, we, I've been kind of a little slow on a whole lot of things with the channel, but we will be um, intro, uh, introducing the zeal and introducing the cash out to the channel. For you guys that just feel generous and want to donate to the channel, uh, we want to make that available for you guys. So I, we are going to have that set up for you guys pretty soon. Um, and Super Chats, you can always send that. Um, live. We are getting ready to go live, baby. Live going down. March 31st, Easter, 7 p.m. Central Time. Be down, man. Truckers be down. It's going down. It's going to be a beautiful thing. We're going to have all kind of things for you guys on this live. You hear me? We're going to have all kind of giveaways. You know, we're going to have, we're going to, hey, I don't want to tell y'all too much. Because if you don't show up, you know what I'm saying, you don't know what you're going to be missing. All I can tell you to do is pull up. It's going down. Again, live, March 31st, 7 p.m. Central Time. Um, be down. Be down, uh, M2T. I'm going to be expecting for you guys to be pulling up. We love you. And um, until next time, it's your boy. I just got in a whole brand new bag. I'm running around. Hey, Julie, we moving like juice.